Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial of After a Long Time. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how you can build an advanced multi-purpose Discord board. So let's begin. So firstly go to this GitHub repo. I'll provide you the link in the description so you may go from there. So after going to there, simply download this repo. After downloading, simply extract the folder and open a terminal. After opening the terminal, simply type code or in the terminal and it will open the Visual Studio code. After opening the Visual Studio code, simply rename this example file with .env. Now we need these three credentials. The first one is the Discord boot token and second one is the client ID and third one is the MongoDB. So to get the Discord boot token, so simply go to discord.dev and simply create a new application, enter the name whatever you want and just confirm it. And then go to the boot section and enable all boot intents and save the changes and then reset boot token if you have enabled they do fa enter your code and then confirm it and then just copy the boot token and come back to the visual studio code and paste the token like this go back to your discord tab and copy application id and paste it there To get MongoDB, simply join our Discord server. There is a lot of MongoDBs. You can copy any one of them. The Discord link in the description so you can join and take the MongoDB URL from there. And make sure to install the Node.js in your operating system. I am using something about 20 version of node make sure you use node.js version 20 it will, this boot will work fine with it just simply select the version and click the download button and execute the download file i already have installed so i do not need to install it again after downloading restart the visual studio code and then run npm i command in the terminal before starting the boot, make sure to set these important configuration settings like owner IDs, etc. So these ID will be saved in a MongoDB. Otherwise, you will have to set uh, this thing with boot or directly from the MongoDB. So make sure to set the important configuration like owner IDs before starting the boot. So simply go to this code and copy your user ID and then go back and paste it there like this. And change the other setting like it links activity or stairs of the board, whatever you want. To set the webhook URLs, simply go to the channel setting and then integration and then create a new webhook and copy the webhook URL and paste it there like this. You can create multiple webhook URLs for specific function. And in this board, you can set multiple languages. Currently there is only German and English, you can add more if you want or make some changes in the language if you want. And 
and in this board you can also select multiple themes of the board now it's time to run the board to run the board simply go to the terminal and type node dot in the terminal and it will start the board As you can see the board is online and working well. If you need any type of help make sure to join my server you can ask me any type of question there link in the description.